Hello friends, today we discuss about how to derive relation between uniformly distributed load, shear force and bending moment. Here, first we consider a beam carrying UDL of W per unit length. Then consider a small portion AB of length delta x and at a distance x from the left side of the beam. So here, what is the meaning of UDL? UDL means uniformly distributed load. So here we talk about small portion of AB. So small portion AB, for example, shear force at A that is F, shear force at B that is F plus delta F, bending moment at A that is M and bending moment at B that is M plus delta M. Here we talk about small portion AB. So at small portion AB uniformly distributed load that is W per unit length and here length is delta X. So what is the meaning of UDL? UDL means uniformly distributed load means per meter length load acting on the beam that is W. So here length is delta X. So on small portion AB load acting on the beam that is W into delta X because per unit length that is W so delta X length for length delta x that is w into delta x and this load acting always at its center of gravity that's why delta x by 2 and delta x by 2 so here we can write load acting on beam that b is equal to w into delta x shear force at a is equal to f shear force at b that is f plus delta f bending moment at a is equal to m bending moment at b is equal to m plus delta m here next step element a b of b is in equilibrium condition so what is the meaning of equilibrium condition for equilibrium condition uh, algebraic sum of horizontal component is equal to zero algebraic sum of vertical component is equal to zero and then clockwise moment is equal to anti-clockwise moment so for small portion of beam we apply algebraic sum of vertical component that is zero so using sigma fy is equal to zero here we take sign convection upward force that is positive and downward force that is negative so here we draw one simple diagram force acting on at a that is f force acting on b that is f plus delta f w into delta x that x at its middle so here f goes downward direction that's why according to our sign convection downward force is negative and upward force is positive so here f goes downward side that's why minus f here w into delta x also x downside that's why minus w into delta x and at point b f plus delta f goes upward that's why plus so f plus delta f is equal to zero so f have cancel out so minus w into delta x plus delta f is equal to zero so rewrite this equation so w delta x is equal to delta f so we get w is equal to delta f by delta x what is the meaning of this equation the rate of change of shear force with respect to distance is equal to the intensity of load again i repeat w is equal to delta f by delta x meaning of this equation is the rate of change of shear force with respect to distance rate of change of shear force with respect to distance means slope of the shear force curve is equal to the intensity of load next step is taking moment at b here we consider beam is in equilibrium condition that's why clockwise moment is equal to anti-clockwise moment or you can say that algebraic sum of moment is equal to zero so first what do you mean by moment moment means force multiplied perpendicular distance for example here force is 30 newton and perpendicular distance from a that is 5 so moment is 30 into 5 and this moment goes to clockwise direction place the thumb at a and rotate the finger to the direction of force so this force going to clockwise direction so 30 into 5 that is moment goes to clockwise direction so here first we draw one simple diagram f means shear force at a at point b load acting that is f plus delta f 
here between A to B there is UDL so total load acting on the beam that is W into delta X we convert this UDL into point load and this load act at its middle point so total length is delta X so this load act at its middle point that's why length is delta X by 2 delta X by 2 so and at point A moment is M that going to clockwise direction and at point B moment is M plus delta M that going to anti-clockwise direction so here we first take sign convection for example clockwise moment that we consider positive and anti-clockwise moment that we consider negative so at point A moment goes to clockwise direction that's why positive so here first we write M then at point A force acting at its downward direction and we taking moment from point B that's why here point B and force direction that is downward direction and rotate the finger to the clock downward direction that's why this moment goes to anti-clockwise direction so here moment is anti-clockwise direction that's why minus so moment means force multiplied perpendicular distance so here force is F and perpendicular distance from B that is delta X so here we write minus F into delta X again here force is W into delta X again place the thumb here and rotate the finger to the direction of force again this moment also goes to anti-clockwise direction that's why w into delta x force and perpendicular distance that is delta x by 2 again this moment anti-clockwise direction that's why minus w into delta x into delta x by 2 at point B force is F plus delta F but here we taking moment at point B that's why perpendicular distance is 0 that's why this force is not considered and at point B mo moment is M plus delta M going to anti-clockwise direction so again minus so minus M plus delta M is equal to 0 simplify this equation M as it is minus F into delta X minus W into delta X square by 2 minus M minus delta M is equal to 0. Here distance we consider small portion and small portion square also very very small that's why neglected. So here double derivative that's why delta X square by delta X square that we consider 0. Then M M cancel out and again simplify this equation we get delta M is equal to minus F into delta X so delta M by delta X is equal to minus F so we can say that the rate of change of bending moment with respect to distance is equal to the shear force at that section again I repeat delta M by delta X is equal to minus F that's meaning is the rate of change of bending moment with respect to distance is equal to the shear force at that section and what is the meaning of delta M by delta X that is the slope of bending moment curve so we know that for maximum value of bending moment slope of bending moment curve is zero because maximum bending moment point is the, this is the maximum bending moment point and here we see that max for maximum bending moment slope is 0 so we can write delta m by delta x is equal to 0 but from above equation delta m by delta x that is minus f so that's meaning is f is equal to 0 for maximum bending moment so when shear force is 0 for maximum bending moment Again I repeat for maximum value of bending moment slope of bending moment curve is 0 that's why here maximum bending moment point uh, and that slope we can see that that is 0 so delta m by delta x is equal to 0 but we already proved that delta m by delta x is equal to minus f that's meaning is when shear force is 0 bending moment is maximum. So basically we derive three relation first relation is W is equal to delta F by delta X. So what is the meaning? The rate of change of shear force with respect to distance is equal to the intensity of load. Second equation that is delta M by delta X is equal to minus F. So what is the meaning? The rate of change of bending moment with respect to distance is equal to the shear force at that section. Here 
delta m by delta x that is the slope of bending moment curve we know that for maximum value of bending moment slope of bending moment curve is zero that's why delta m by delta x is equal to zero here we derive already derived delta m by delta x is equal to minus f that's why f is equal to zero for maximum bending moment so we can say that when cf is zero bending moment is maximum thank you